Oh, Brooks, you were so close. So close. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is that? It is a hot one out here. Holy cow. I'm already sweating. I'm only three and a half miles in. Good morning, YouTube fam. Uh, so, this morning's run, I got, uh, did about 10 miles in the new Brooks Hyperion Elite 2. Oh, so many good things about this shoe. I uh, was supposed to be doing 16 miles this morning, but I had to cut the run short because of a major issue that I have with this shoe. I'm going to get a little more into the technical aspects than I normally do. Uh, just because uh, I had so much excitement over this shoe and it's still so new uh, that, that uh, I, I figured I would give a little bit more extra. So. We're going to start off, we're going to compare it to the Brooks Hyperion Elite. Version 1, version 2. As you can see, the there's a big difference in the sole, the stack height. This is a little, this is a higher stack height. Normally, I'm not a big fan of higher stack heights. Uh, I actually like this one. <laughs> Much better than this one. I like a good ground contact feel. That's one thing I did like about these shoes. Uh, but this, the, the ver first version I would definitely put into a, uh, the more half marathon versus a marathon category. This has a lot of potential for a full marathon racing shoe. On my run this morning, uh, I felt fast in it. I actually, it was propelling me to go fast. Uh, the higher stack height, one thing I don't normally like about that is I feel a little more unstable. I like, that's why I like that ground contact feel. But this one I did not feel unstable in at all. They did change the outsole. Uh, the, there's a lot of things I like about this change in the outsole. Uh, the one big th disadvantage I did see versus this one, I'll show you both of them here, versus this one and this one. This one on wet pavement had a little bit more traction. This one this morning, it rained last night. Uh, so this morning on the run, on some of the pavement and, and uh, concrete trails that I was on, were a little slick with just a little dampness on, on the, uh, the path. So I, I did slip a little bit. I tried to push myself to about a five minute pace on one section, uh, but it was wet and I was losing so much energy uh, because it, it was actually slipping. The, the, the shoe 
uh, when I was trying to do my toe off was actually slipping on the on the wet it wasn't even really wet I would say damp uh, uh, conditions now, so that's one drawback but on dry great grip uh, and they have just enough sole uh, outsole on here uh, to give you you know plenty enough uh, uh, traction uh, and I really like where these shoe companies are going with the exposed midsole with just what you need uh, you know for for uh, running and you could tell this is definitely a racing day shoe just because of I mean it's it's built for somebody that's going to be doing speed more midfoot to forefoot striker uh, it's what this shoe is designed for and when you run with that proper uh, form like that you can feel the benefits of this shoe the midsole I really enjoy the midsole the uh, uh, carbon fiber plate in there is not super rigid I mean I can bend it a little bit compared to this one now this one this shoe I have over 100 miles in uh, and it's it's a little bit more give on on the two versus the one uh, which I actually enjoy uh, I didn't know I would I would like that more than the the one but I actually do comparing the two I actually love that feel better in the two now let's talk about the one area that I wish they would have changed from the one to the two more than anything else that they did not the upper oh Brooks come on now my biggest complaint with the upper on the one I love the feel I love the feel of the upper around the midfoot uh, the toe felt great. These laces, even though they're stretchy and I have 10 miles more lace than I need because I have such a narrow foot that I have to cinch down the laces pretty tight, I can get past that. The collar, <laughs> the big issue, if you guys remember my other videos with these shoes, is getting, there's inside the collar is this padded area which I'm guessing they have there to help with the lockdown because when you cinch these down the top part of the collar here does not at all get tight around your foot uh, no matter how I've laced it I, you don't get a good around around the ankle on the top part of the collar you don't get uh, a lockdown on it I hated this padding in here I would get a blister on my heel because no matter how I locked it down, that point and that point only would rub against my my heel and give me a blister every single time. They have the exact same thing in this one. I know so many people that was the only complaint other than the the softness of the midsole, which I enjoyed in this one, by the way because uh, it's a little bit stiffer which is what I like it, gives, it makes me feel uh, it gives a little bit to me I like that that feel but a lot of people complained about the collar they did not change the collar in the, in the second version so on my run today Luckily, I thought ahead because it had that in there and I thought well, maybe they did the placing a little bit different uh, on it So it'll feel different and I'll get a better lockdown and, and I won't have that issue Three miles in I already had a pretty good blister and I tried retying my shoe three different ways And I was getting that blister the same place. I was getting it on version one luckily I brought some tape that I was able to put on my heel to uh, so I could continue the run 
but even with that it was still rubbing there uh, throughout the whole run and that's why I had to cut my run short was I, there was no way I was going to make it 16 miles in this shoe uh, with that. <laughs> Just get rid of that. I mean come on Brooks there's you could go with the same I, I wish they could take the collar on the tempo the Hyperion tempo I get a great lockdown feel with this shoe I have no issues rubbing anywhere on it and getting blisters if you could combine I, I love this upper I, I mean I like the upper on this is very they're very similar uppers I like the upper fabric on here too they're both really breathable lightweight just take if, if you could just somehow somehow Brooks <laughs> I would love this shoe oh that it that is a major thing for me as to why I will I will not race a marathon in this shoe so let's talk about sizing I had to go I got true to size on this shoe and I had so much extra length in the toe box so I did half a size smaller on this shoe and it fits actually really good the length uh, of the shoe was spot on. The amount of, of room in the toe box was spot on. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I decided to go half a size smaller on this one since I, I went true to size on the first uh, first version. Uh, because of that, that was one reason I was hoping that this collar might not uh, affect as much since I would have a better better fit but I had the same amount of problems with it. So let's talk about the weight. Uh, see on my screen, the weight of the Hyperion Elite 1 version 1, which is half a size bigger than the Hyperion Elite 2, is almost three quarters of an ounce heavier. <laughs> The Hyperion 2 is three quarters of an ounce heavier at half a size smaller than the Hyperion 1. That's to be expected since they have the uh, a thicker midsole, but I don't know if the thickness of that midsole for me, the benefit I see the benefit to uh, having that thicker versus the weight. Overall, oh, there is so much I love about this shoe. But I cannot handle that ankle collar. Uh, that, that, I, I, oh, Brooks. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Hyperion Elite 2. Uh, I have a couple more reviews coming up uh, of some newer shoes in the, in the future. Uh, so please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified, uh, as well as my other videos that I, that I do as I'm out there running around uh, by myself and with my dog. Uh, please, if you like uh, my videos, please hit that like button. Uh, and feel free to follow me on my Strava and my Instagram where I post a lot more stuff on my runs. Uh, and uh, I'll have the, uh, the links for those down in, my, in the description of the video. And until next time, guys, keep out there running, stay motivated, and keep on your goals. And I'll see you next time.